you, you, you could give me a dozen heart attacks and you could break every bone in my body and it would never ever get anywhere near men mental illness. It's that bad. I was doing some work on a pylon and uh, I don't think I'd been back at work very much. I think I'd just got back to work uh, and I was just stood on end of pylon and I was so close to just, just jumping off, just walking to end and, and going, that was that was that was when I knew that I'd got to do something, wasn't it? Mm. And that attack uh, when I was twenty eight, um, I was overworking, wasn't I? I was I was I was putting a lot of hours in, and uh, I had a few heart problems. And I went to doctor, and doctor booked me in to uh, see someone. Um, but before it happened, uh, I ended up with a heart attack in Old Royal, didn't I? Mm. I came home. And I said, I said to my son, uh, I'm just going up to the bedroom because I don't feel very well. J just tell mum. And you came up, didn't you? And my heart was going crackers, wasn't it? Mm. It, it? It was just racing. It was, well, now we realise it was over 200, wasn't it? It, mm. was, it was going. And I suppose to cut a long story short, I just, I ended up in uh, Hull Royal again, didn't I? Mm. And they said that they're going to have to shock my heart to, to put it back into slow it down put it back yeah. into rhythm so i had a defibrillator fitted and it was literally a year after so it was like january 2014 and that was the first time it actually went off I couldn't believe it when i first time i ever saw it. it's a huge electric shock in your body and it just literally throws you across the room you know it went off in bath and yeah. nearly threw me out at bath didn't it yeah then it, it went off in um then we went on holiday to spain first oh, yeah. night there I literally just stood on the terrace and there was like a scuffle down below where, where they, they mm. were kicking him in the face, they took their belts, they were whipping him. It was unbelievable. So of course we were shouting, stop, stop, stop. He, Dave got in the lift, went down and started and shot, stop, stop. And one of them just turned around and thumped him in the face, which of course sent his defibrillator to go in. And... They said you're doing, you, you've, you've done real well up, up to now. Which to me, obviously, straight away thought that, you know, I, mean, I haven't got much longer for it to carry on. I'd just come home, I'd come home on a night and I, I just wasn't there, was I? I was yeah. just, I was completely in a different, I was in a different place and I just didn't know where I was at all. I, I just, my head had took over, I was just in a black hole. You know, there just isn't the help for people with that sort of thing. And it does take over, it does take over your life. You know, you are frightened to go to, go anywhere. Uh, we got in touch with a, a lady at Scarborough. Now she did counselling on on a lot of people with drugs and things. Jean, she was called. She saved me like that woman, literally. It it was just unbelievable, and that was the first person um, who I talked to on that mental side, who, who who I could who I could talk to and relate to. You don't talk to anyone because you don't want anyone to know you're ashamed of yourself. Cause you, you literally are ashamed of yourself. You just think you're just worthless.